Hello YouTube, Super Mazaku here today once again with another Naruto list. I'm pumping these out like a bitch on labor. So here we have uh, the top 40 or the 40 listings of Dojutsu. And uh, before we get into it, there are only 40 listings. It could be more unless I find out more because I'm a research god um, of Dojutsu. But um, we found 40. We found 40. Really 41, but we found 40. We're only going to list 40. So today, top 40 strongest. Dojutsu as in eyes as in sage mode is not a dojutsu sage mode is a design any eyes from the tell the beast besides the jubi aren't dojutsu those are just eye designs Jiraiya sage mode is not a dojutsu people not tell fox eyes is not a dojutsu people okay cool now if we get into the list now, number 40, you, by the way, if you guys hear any noise below, it's, it's, it's the apartment below. It's like five kids down there. I don't, I don't know how they do it. They're loud as hell. Number 40, we have Shion's Dojutsu. Now, if you guys did watch Naruto Shippuden, the movie, Shion is basically a female who's about to give the cookies up to Naruto, who has a distinctive uh, Dojutsu that allows her to see the future and see somebody's death. Uh, she can't really activate it at will, and it really has no other power other than that, so as far as, you know, combat ability or combat skill, I can't really rank it high up on the rankings on the list. That's why it's definitely at the bottom, the low tier, and that's why it makes number 40. From number 39, we have the one Tomo Sharingan, the incomplete of the incomplete. Um, basically, only really gives, you know, the eye of insight. You know, the user can really see the chakra and the chakra flow. Not as good as the Byakugan. And they can see through chakra, but not all, you know, obstructions of it. So, this is really an incomplete Sharingan. Not much you can do with it. Uh, very little. Uh, as you've seen with Sawa, was able to do with it. No, she wasn't really capable. Uh, with Sasuke, we've seen him uh, awaken it um, after he's seen Itachi murder his entire family. So, you know, it's more, you know, tricking you know, through the heart and the brain, you know, how emotional those Uchihas get. But it's not very powerful at all. Number 38, we have Yomei. Still do too. You guys don't know Yome is in the Naruto Shippuden filler episode. I cannot remember the episode, but it was during the second tuning exams at the Naruto had left the village to train with Jiraiya. Uh, to be honest, this is one of the most corny and laziest dojutsus I have ever seen in my life. Um, it's just a dojutsu that allows her to die like her pupils and track down enemies, and she still got her ass kicked, so it didn't really help her at all in that matter. So she freaking sucks. Uh, yeah, I'd really give her no credit. That's why she's at number 38. The number 37, actually, it's not really mentioned, but Kido Maru, you guys remember Kido Maru doing uh, the Sasuke retrieval arc in Naruto? Um, when he entered his second, you know, curse seal of, you know, the curse mark that Rich Maru gave him, the eye on his forehead opens up, and it's actually an eye that grants some great, greater accuracy in his attacks as well as, you know, ability to see chakra. It's more like a bootleg Byakugan, Sharingan type thing. Um, so I don't really give it much credit. In fact, you know, I gave it so less credit that I put Himawari's Byakugan ahead of it. So Himawari's Byakugan is, um, let's see what number this is. See, I'm losing my damn mind. And number 36. Um, Now, people get pissed off at me when I call this a half-breed Byakugan because I call that exactly what it is. I call it exactly what it is. He's half Huga. The Byakugan doesn't even look the same as the traditional Byakugan. The whiteness, yeah, but it just looks like she just got Naruto's eye and just, you know, painted it white a little bit. The veins on her, uh, surrounding her, uh, you know, eye sockets are definitely not as many or not as, you know, detailed as the regular Byakugan at all. She has maybe like two veins there, you know, despite Neji having about six. He not just six. It's like everybody in the Byakugan, you could tell somebody when they had a full blood of Byakugan. Her just, just not it. I'm not saying it's weaker. I'm not saying she's a weak because people really getting offended over her. I don't understand what I'm saying wrong about her. I mean, listen, her Byakugan, it ain't all there. You, you guys lucky I'm not calling it the, uh, the retarded Byakugan, which is exactly what it is. Oh, well, Hebri Byakugan Himawari. Okay. Her Byakugan is not really, you know, complete and probably won't be able to reach that level. She is half Hugo and only that. I understand that her brother Boruto may have a special case with his Dojutsu. But she's not buried, so, you know, uh, I can't help that. You know, Hagoromo said himself that not all children of powerful shinobi will have power at all. I mean, but she awakened this kind of Byakugan at the age of three, so you can't really expect it to be complete anyway. So, you know what I mean? There's, this, there's respect that she's on the list at all. 
So number 35, we had the two turmoil Sharon Gun. Of course, you know, here's the thing. I believe only Itachi and Obito, when they did it, Rick and the Sharon Gun, they skipped the first stage and went straight into the second stage of two turmoil Sharon Gun. This basically allows you to really copy somebody's movements, you no know, physical movements, even like the slightest, you know, frickle of a pen, you can memorize it, as we've seen in the tuning exams with Sasuke. And the combat allows them to see fast moving objects at once and fully, you know, deliver a counter. So it's kind of like a, a semi upgraded version of the one turn with Shaman Gun, which should make you know, a lot of sense. So there we have, you know, the two turn with Shaman Gun. And number 34, we have Ram Maru's Dojutsu. And the reason why this is so high is, uh, I believe, in the filler arc with uh, one of the seven of the swordsmen, Raiga, he had this little, uh, this little uh, child that he was molesting uh, named Ram Maru. Uh, who had a dojutsu really was unnamed, but it really kind of rendered the Byakugan useless at one point until, you know, Neji, you know, did his Neji thing, you know, when they met him up close and it was a different story. But I do feel like this dojutsu did, you know, show enough formidable feats for me to put it higher than the two term of Sharingan. I believe, like, a full developed, you know, Byakugan and the Sharingan is what it will take to actually surpass a dojutsu such as this one, which is capable of canceling out other dojutsu. But since it's, you no, know, those were the one of two of the three great dojo two excuse me you know it didn't really do it all the way and ultimately ramaru became non-existent after that and raga died so yeah and number three we have the magon now a lot of people don't or the magon a lot of people don't know what this is this is very recent and very on screen on screen as we see none of the dojo two are actually real in real life there's their fiction and this kind of supersedes that this is fiction inside of a fiction. Megan is a uh, it's a dojutsu used by Kage Masa, only in film. Like inside of his movies, this is a special dojutsu, and it's called the Megan, and it really just paralyzes your opponents while you you know I guess go past them and you know do whatever you want to do with them. So it really depends on what the user is, but you know it's not that strong, but it's not that weak. It paralyzes opponents. This is very impressive, but it all depends on the user. Unfortunately, this list is not based on the user itself so i cannot rank this you know dodo suit any higher than i have put it now i believe this is you know really being nice to it but the whole paralyzing opponents thing is kind of cool even for on on screen uh dodo suit so that's why it has you know that ranking there so number 32 we have the katsuri you guys know listen i know a lot of you guys expected this to be high on the list but you know Listen, if you guys did watch you Nunav know, uh the Sasuke, uh, Ludo, uh, I guess, Atonement arc, or at least read the Sasuke hidden novel, the Katsuri Yugan is only comparable to, like, the three great dojutsu. It's not on the same level. Hence, the Sharingan will always, and, they, and they, they said this constantly, and they even showed this, Sharingan will always outshine the Katsuri Yugan because of the Genjutsu. It just won't work on it. And, it, and then they didn't really state this, but the Byakugan, you know, the way it sees Chakra on a completely different level, it will see the Genjutsu coming from miles away. Only thing that can actually fool a Byakugan is a Sharingan, and that's not even, you know, a complete, you know, all the way. You had to like, have at least a strong Sharingan or a Michael Gill Sharingan for that to work. But yeah, the Katsuri Yugan, I cannot, you know, go by the users because, you know, Chino is a very strong individual. Which makes her, uh, you know, her Kake uh, Genkai stronger, but I cannot use that because this is just the Kake Genkai, this is just the Ketsuri Yugan. Uh, these guys will literally push to an entire island by the Uchiha clan alone. So, the idea of even putting this above the base Sharingan where, mm, Sharingan is like the perfect counter for, you know, for this type of dojutsu. So, I'm not allowed to really put the Sharingan below it at all. It's like Izanami and Izanagi. It's like it's a perfect counter. It's like it's built just to debunk the other. So that's why, you know, the Katsuri Yugan said number 32. So number 31, we have the Byakugan um, self-explanatory. Gives the user damn near 360. No, actually, it does give them 360 uh, degree uh, d diameter field of vision. I'm actually reading that. And, you know, as far as, you know, seeing through objects and all this other good stuff, you know, eight trigrams or, or the rotation, really that depends on the user and how much they train because, um, I believe, what's his name? Hiyashi said, stated that the user would have to keep training with its Byakugan for the Byakugan to get stronger. So, it's not like the Uchiha where you have to train your eyes and you become stronger because your eyes are strong. With the Byakugan, it's actually quite opposite. The stronger the host, the stronger the eyes. So, that's pretty cool to know. 
Now number 30, we have, of course, the Sharingan, the all-seeing eye, capable of using, I'm just using the most, you know, formidable and the most strongest jutsus that this eye can use, Izanagi and Izanami. Though it is, you know, cost at the risk of eyesight, but the Izanagi and the Izanami are damn near, excuse me, bar none, the strongest Sharingan techniques there is, period. And this is the base Sharingan technique, so every Sharingan, you know, a lot of people, a lot of ninja can only obtain, you not know, only the Sharingan, not everybody's able to obtain Mechagel Sharingan or Eternal or Renegon, but every Sharingan is confirmed to have these two forbidden techniques, so that's why that stands at number 30. Now, number 29, we have the Golden Byakugan. First off, stop calling the Mechagel Byakugan people, please. Please stop doing that because listen, Momo, my G, this go Byakugan is by Momoshiki in the Burrito manga. I understand that Momoshiki is a strong individual, and once he had he had a white Byakugan, and then he transformed, transferred to the gold one, and it could be a lot stronger than when I have it now. But this dude did jack shit, so I don't give a fuck. I don't care. He still died the exact same way. He didn't get a chance to utilize it not once. Not once, so I'm not putting this any higher than it is. I don't care if you guys think it's a lot stronger than what I put it at. Eh, I don't really care. So, number 28, make sure this is the number. Yes, number 28, we have Rai. It's Micah Gil Sharingan. Didn't do much with it, but we know it's Micah Gil Sharingan. So, strong. All he did was Izanagi. And number 27 was Baru's Micah Gil Sharingan. Same story, only the Izanagi, but since it's the Mecha Gosharangan, it's still a strong dojutsu. 26, Naka Uchiha, which is, uh, I hope I didn't say nobody Uzumaki. I'm going to say Rari Uchiha, Baru Uchiha, and Naka Uchiha, number 26. Same story, only use Iz Izanagi, but, you know, it's the Mecha Gosharangan, so it's a strong dojutsu, so it's there by default. 26, mm, excuse me, 25, Narari. Manka Gil Sharingan, all she did with Izanami, which is, I guess, these are our basic Sharingan Jutsu that they use. So I can't really give these guys much credit here, besides the fact that they're, you know, the Manka Gil Sharingan users. So that's about it. You know, I can't really go further than that. So by default, it's there. And number 24, we have Shin Uchiha's Manka Gil Sharingan. To me, um, I actually used to consider this one of the weakest. Yeah, see, it is. No, the weakest cannon in Mecha Yoshamagan, hands down. But I really used to crap on this uh, Mecha Yoshamagan because I didn't like the way they utilize, you know, its specialty. You know, just teleporting certain metal objects and making them move. It's like, wow, you know, we go from Tsukiyomi and Matsurasu to this. It's it's really much of a down place, a downgrade. But considering the fact how this Mecha Yoshamagan was made by Rochimaru, who doesn't know shit about Uchiha's, it's like, okay, you kind of see the flaw there. You don't expect, you no know, much greatness from this. But I will give compliments to the anime for making this Mecha Gil Sharingan look like gold. And that's why it has this nice, secured spot here. Man, they did an amazing job with the Shin Uchiha versus uh, Sakura fight. I actually, I actually re-watched that fight twice before making this video. Listen, I gotta give this Mecha Gil Sharingan this props, man. The, the abilities aren't that bad, actually. Very accurate. Um... I don't, it's, just, it's just badass. It's just badass. From what I've seen in the animation, it was badass. Maybe, you know, that kind of, you know, technique for Mecha Gil Sharingan doesn't really look good on paper. It doesn't look good in the manga, but in the animation, it looked absolutely beautiful. And that's why that is at, you know, number 24. Now, number 23 is actually uh, another anime only Mecha Gil Sharingan, along with Rai, Baru, Nakra, and Narori. And we have Fugaku Uchiha, Mecha Gil Sharingan. Not much is known of it, but he said he is confident that his eyes are powerful enough to summon a nine-tailed fox. Which is why he was scared that, you know, after, you know, the Minato versus Tobi fight in the village when he was destroying shit. He understood why the rest of the village would be scared that the Uchiha did summon the nine-tailed fox. Because technically, an Uchiha did. So, nobody else can do that besides the Uchiha's. And he knows that his eyes are powerful enough to summon it. So now it really, you know, makes you sympathize with Fugaku because he knows he's did nothing wrong, but he knows he has the power to do what Ashley has already been done. 
And now he has to deal with it because everybody already pointing fingers at him. So now he has to deal with it. He let his son know, uh, Itachi, look, I got this man who goes Sharingan too. If I wanted to, I could fuck you up. But I'm going to be chill. I'm going to be chill about it. You can go and kill me. Just make sure you say hello, brother. But um, not much is really known about Samantha Yoshiragan besides the fact that he can summon uh, Kurama. You know, fully tell Beast Kurama and you know have it on the Genjutsu and, uh, and whatnot. Number 21, we have... Excuse me, number 22. I'm messing up. Number 22, we have Izuna Mekigyo Sharingan. Izuna's Mekigyo Sharingan. Uh, stated to be as strong as moderate Mekigyo Sharingan. Uh, that's the only reason why he's at number 21. Most likely will be capable of awakening Susano since the fact that Madara, who took Izuna's eyes, obtained perfect Susano after that. Similar to uh, Sasuke and Itachi. It is most likely that Izuna is making your Shamagan did have a Susano, but they ain't uh, saved him from, you know, getting one shot about Toby Rama. So at number 21, we have Moderus regular Mecha Go Sharingan. Not his internal, but his regular Mecha Go Sharingan, as I said. Or uh, the Moderus and Izuna, you know, were pretty pretty close to strength. Moderus was the leader of the Uchiha clan, so I will always put him, his uh, Mecha Go Sharingan, above Izuna's no matter what. So number 20, we have Sasuke's Mecha Go Sharingan. To me, one of the worst pieces of shit. Dude went blind in like two seconds. As soon as he got his uh, Mega Girl Sharingan, he just went bad shit and ape shit, and he lost his sight within like 20 minutes. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the Materatsu is pretty cool, I guess. The Susano. Um, his Mega Girl Sharingan version of Susano, to me, actually sucked really bad. I didn't like that at all. I never liked it. But, you know, we actually seen the canon Susano in the Materatsu, so by default, you had to put it there. Now, number 19, we're on to the teens now in the big, big leagues. We have Itachi's Mecha Girl Sharingan. And before you guys take his cock and shove it down your throats and go ahead and be keyboard warriors, listen, Itachi's Mecha Girl Sharingan, it is a beast. It is a killer. Yada Mirror, Amaterasu, Tsukiyomi, all that good stuff. I'm not denying any of this stuff, people. I'm not denying it. I'm not denying it. Torska Blade. I'm not denying it. it's a very amazing Manka Girl Sharingan. And anybody would be lucky to have it, even his brother who actually did. I see that. Look, I acknowledge all of his powers. He's number 19 on the top 40 list. That is a great spot, people. Before you rage in the comments, it is a great spot. I'm not saying he's weak. I'm not saying his Manka Girl Sharingan is weak. This entire list is based on the Dodutsu, you know? Not to use it, but just the Dojutsu, and it is amazing, and I gave it its props. Now, leave me the head alone, because at 18, we have Obito's Mecha Girl Sharingan that can literally open another dimension and trap you in it. Or, send a piece of your body into the other dimension and kill you, because, you know, you're separated. Or, grant the user the ability to go into the other dimension while still, in, you know, physically in the real world, but not physically in the real world. It's kind of like in the ghost mode. And the dude with this Mega Girl Shaman Gun, the dudes with the Mega with these Mega Girl Shaman Guns, um, went on to do amazing things. Uh, I think Camry is really enough to explain it, but the fact that they get this Mega Girl Shaman Gun and Susano as well, and a perfect Susano with that. But I'm gonna just leave it at Susano because perfect Susano was helped with some send you doing DNA. Excuse me, send you DNA. Susano and Camry, you know. So I feel like that debunks anything you know Itachi's Mega Girl Shaman Gun can do. Yada Mirror is meant to deflect anything. You can't deflect getting sucked into a portal. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's what we have there. This is why Obito's Mecha Girl Sharingan is over Itachi's. I love Itachi's Mecha Girl Sharingan. It's amazing. That's actually my favorite one. Excuse me, second favorite one. And I hate Obito, so I, mind you, I, I'm a huge Obito hater. I don't like him, but I can't deny the fact that his Mecha Girl Sharingan is just simply better than Itachi's. It's simply better than Itachi's. And Itachi's, you know, his and Materatsu, which uh, it grants his user, it can, you know, be debunked by Obito or Kakashi, who had Obito's Mikey or Sharingan, with just a simple Kamui. So I, I just feel like, mm, a lot of things get debunked here. Tosca Blade can't work because the Obito's Mikey or Sharingan grants the user like an infinite ghost mode for like five minutes. Freaking Conan had to do a whole prep time. For I don't know how long of over what 100,000 or 100 million paper bombs, and the Mega Girl Sharingan was like, nah, 
we not having none of that. I just feel like it's nothing the Itachi's doing against your Shaman Gun abilities that really, it's nothing it can do for Obito's. It's nothing. And I feel like there is a gap. There is a gap there. But at number 17, we have Shisui's Mekekyo Sharingan. Um, do I need to explain? No. Koto of Matsukami. That's it. That shit could have been used against the entire clan of Uchiha's with Sharingan. That's it. I can go here and overkill and say, yo, that, that shit freed Itachi from Edo Tensei. And that's still weird. That's still unexplainable. To this day, it's like, it still shouldn't have been able to work. And it worked that way, which is strange. I don't need to explain myself with that. I don't need to. So at number 16, we have Martyrus Eternal Mechagyo Sharingan. Um, now a lot of people be bitching, oh, Obito oh, Itachi since you she's better than that. One, no the hell it's not. Two, it is eternal. Three, perfect Susano. Four, let's get to number 15. Sasuke's Eternal Mechagyo Sharingan. One, perfect Susano. That, that's it. After that, it's deep. Anything you say, any other Mechagyo Sharingan that is not of a god, is debunked. It is debunked. That's it. There's no more. There's no more. I don't want to hear it. Number 14. Now, I, I spent a lot of time con contemplating this. Because it's something that we see coming, but we just haven't really fully seen yet. But we've seen, but we ain't fully seen yet. And this is Alberto's Dojutsu. For the uh, dude who keeps trying to correct me, say it is called Izo uh, Jogan. One, no. Um, Terneri, I believe, was hinting that as a person, in a person's perspective. He never said, oh yeah, he has the Jogan, Burberry has the Jogan. No, this it's not called the Jogan. This was established, dude. You reread your shit and do your research, homie. But this was established, uh, Burberry's Dojutsu was even praised amongst the gods. The dude who held the Tensei Gun in his grasp, in his eye sockets, Praise Burrito's uh, Dojo 2 said this is the only eye of hope. So this is some shit that could actually be over the Tensei Gun, but I'm just not going to do that. I'll explain my reasons later. And even Momoshiki explained that the only reason Burrito beat him is because he had this eye. So maybe it activated last minute before Burrito went and killed uh, Momoshiki. Maybe it wasn't, you know, all of the Rasengan that Naruto gave him that finished off the job. It could have been the eye too that added more power at the last second. But he had gotten praise from Momoshiki slash Kenshiki and uh, Terneri, like saying, yo, you are the chosen one. That explains why you did this and that and that and that. So these guys know what this eye means. Nobody else does. And we still don't. We just know that's ultra powerful and um, in the future, it's the only eye of hope to beat Kawaki, who already defeated Naruto and did God knows what with Sasuke. So, yeah, I'm only leaving it there. It could be a lot stronger than this, to be honest with you. It should be a lot stronger than on this list, but I really wanted to wait. So at 13, we have Endurance Mecha Girl Sharingan. You know, I understand it's a regu regular Mecha Girl Sharingan, but it's a regular Mecha Girl Sharingan with half of Hagaramo's chakra not passed on, but like it's DNA. You know, he has loyalty and royalty inside his DNA. So yeah, that's automatically debunking any other Mecha Girl Sharingan on this list, or at least beforehand, because at number 12, we have Hagaromo's Mechagyo Sharingan. And the picture you see, no, that's not how it looks. That is not the design of Hagaromo's Mechagyo Sharingan. But if you guys watch the anime, um, he awakened his Mechagyo Sharingan and Renegon simultaneously. And he stated, uh, thank you, mother. You helped me achieve my Mechagyo Sharingan and my Renegon. He wanted to make it very clear that he has the Mechagyo Sharingan. And since there's no, no, there's no real design of it, I just put, you know when he was transitioning into the Renegon and they still have Sharingan so technically I won't be wrong but I'll be wrong with the least picture but as far as the statement and the Dojutsu it does exist and it is Hagaromo so forget about having half of Hagaromo's chakra in your eyes you have 100% Hagaromo in Hagaromo's eyes was to make a girl Sharingan and you know dude, dude is a full blown god so that's why that's the strongest Mega girl Sharingan of all time you know, hands down, you know, everything else is, de is debunked after that. So at 11, we have um, the Renegon. 
Self-explanatory. Six paths. Self-explanatory. All five track of nature, self-explanatory. Creation of, th of all things, self-explanatory. Limbo, etc. Yeah. Number 10, we have uh, Momoshiki's uh, Red Colored uh, Renegon. Uh, basically, all the uh, techniques and due to, well, not due to, but all the, you know, the benefits of the regular Renegon to suffer with this one. It's a little uh, different as far as absorbing due to, because I believe, you know, the Renegon, you can absorb due to, but this one, it absorbs due to and it can reflect it back at the same strength to even more and create the true seeking ball, which is very strange. Um, but very impressive, you know, the regular Renegon, it cannot create true seeking balls, but Momoshiki's Renegon definitely could manipulate all five chakra natures at once. And uh, thanks to this Renegon, Killer B in this prime got one shot. So, yeah. So, number nine, we have the Tensei Gun. Yes, 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 yes. Understand the previous list, I put Renegon over Tensei Gun in any day. But, you know, I had to do further research because that. Me making this list, you know, as I grow as a as a YouTuber and as a person, you know, you no know, intellect is there, and then it keeps going. You get smarter every day. You get smarter every day. If you're not, then I don't, I don't know what's wrong with you. I had to come to grips that the Tensei Gon. I mean, not only you can absorb Jutsu, two seeking balls, it grants any user with it uh, a freaking almost unstoppable chakra mode, and enough power to surge and slice the moon. So, I feel like that's self-explanatory there. I don't think I need to go any further than that. And also has an orb where it can, uh, you know, absorb chakra in its own. It doesn't have to, he doesn't have to, you know, physically be near you or grab you or touch you to absorb the chakra such as the Renegon. So, at number eight, we have the Golden Renegon, which is another useless, but yet way too overpowered due to by Momoshiki in the manga. Uh, after he's with his father, Kenshiki, he both got a gold Byakugan and a gold Renegon, which unfortunate, unfortunately he was really unable to utilize at all. Only the time he used it was Yang release, excuse me, Yin release to use like a, this high powered seller projection Jutsu to try to bind Naruto and Sasuke and everybody else around him and it didn't really work. Well actually it did work and Sasuke made a plan and he did his swap thing and he still died the same way. But the only reason when I have this above the Tensegon is because I only consider the Tensegon miles above the red Renegon that the original Momoshiki had. So when he transformed or basically absorbed an entire, you know, Asuki, another god, and got the gold Renegon, I feel like, you know, it would be unfair to have the Tensegon above that one too when I think it's hardly above the red one. So, you no know, process of elimination, the gold Renegon is the number eight and, you know, Tensegon has to be at number nine. But number seven, we have Sasuke's Renegon. Um, one thing, uh, I can't even say the word, but he, he trained it so good that the eye can now open Kaguya's dimension. Self-explanatory? Okay, cool. Number six, we have Hagoromo's Renegon. A lot of you guys may think, oh, this is a regular Renegon. I want you guys to understand that the first Renegon is uh, one of the great Doji 2s, and it's a Keke Genkai. Hagoromo's Renegon, however, is a Keke Mora. Not a Keke Tota, but a Keke Mora. Can do shit that the regular Renegon, no matter how much you know, DNA of Asu or Endura you obtain, you cannot do what Hagoromo does with his Renegon because he is the originator, period. Period. And he has half of Kaguya's and the Fruits Chakra embedded in him since birth. So, you know, his Renegon is an automatic Keke Mora. And which is, if you guys don't know, it's a much, much higher level than the Kage Genkai. Such as, you know, summoning every single Kage with relative ease. And this is just a husk of, of, uh, of its power. Because uh, Hagarama wasn't even really alive when he did this. But summoning each and every Kage. Opening and closing and sealing Kaguya's dimension for good. Creation of all things, etc. I can go on, of course, you know, all the ch you know, chakra natures, but that's regular Renegon stuff, and it's on a much grander scale. So that's why, you know, the Keke more version of the Renegon, Hagarama's Renegon, is really on a completely different level. It's not even considered in the same class, literally. Keke Genkai, Keke Mora. So at number five, we have Kaguya's Keke Mora Byakugan. 80 gods. 80 gods, you guys don't know what 80 gods is, type it in on Google. Literally broke Sasuke's perfect Susano to pieces. This Byakugan broke it to pieces easily. 
effortlessly. Not even the sweat broken off the hose, which was Kaguya. So that's why that, you know, is getting the treatment it is now. Because listen, we understand Byakugan. Hey, try to get him 64 pound. That's cute. The shit that uh, the Keke Mora version of the Byakugan was doing was just wasn't normal. It just wasn't normal. He has 100% of the fruit chakra, 100% of the telbies. But the her, her Byakugan, even before she had gotten um the tree, I mean like the fruit ate the fruit, it was already classified as Keke Mora. It can already do weird stuff. You see, in it can actually control people, you know, hence he controlled Hamura during uh, the anime. I don't know why they even added that in there. That that was stupid to have control people. But at number five, we have another Kekimura, and this is the incomplete of uh, Rene Shamagan, the six Toma one, uh, when the first ten tiles was summoned during the progression of reward. Uh, did not have uh, all of the tail beasts. Uh, a lot of reviewers referred it to as the retarded Juby, which it definitely was uh, doing a hell of a lot of uh, misfires. Um, was really stupid. The design was stupid. But yeah, um, basically this uh, Rene Shamagan is it wasn't strong enough to fully cast Ifna Sukiyomi. It was more of a waiting game with this one, but you know it was still a Kake Mora and still a Rene Shamagan, so you had to put it high on the list. Period. So number three, now I had to do a lot of research on this. We have the literally the seven Tomo Rene Shamagan. Like the other one was six, this is seven. I'm not going off the anime. Oh, they went six. No, no they didn't do it that way. If they did, you no, know, the list would have more. Don't do too on it, but if you guys watch uh, Naruto Road to a Ninja, this is this is a funny story, by the way. Toby was so desperate, and it <laughs> he kind of came to grips that he wasn't going to catch Naruto or I guess Killer B anytime soon, and said, "You know what? Fuck it." And he used his Rene Sharingan, uh, the one that he was manifesting, with just seven of the tail beasts. But each one rep represents the tail beasts. So you guys don't understand. Of the Tomo of the Rene Sharingan, so it was only seven of them, and this is more of the retarded Rene Sharingan, and it kind of cast a limited Tsukiyomi on Naruto and Sakura, and thus create an entire movie. So, yeah, no, thank you, because the movie is uh, pretty badass. But yeah, it's like it's an incomplete Rene Sharingan, but it was just strong enough to at least get two people trapped into a limited Tsukiyomi. So I guess that. It's job was done kind of, but it's definitely stronger than the incomplete 6 Tomo one. And number two, we have the actual Rene Sharingan. Damn, my mouth is dry, man. My mouth is dry. The actual Rene Sharingan capable of opening like four or five dimensions. Um, all the other good stuff. in Infinite Tsukiyomi and World of Trees. And also creating uh, the expansive True Seeking Ball, which is actually a planetary jutsu. So yeah, that's why, you know, we all know Rene Sharingan and only casters are Madara and Kaguya. So it's a very big deal. It's very rare. Even Hagoromo couldn't get his hands on that. So number one. Oh man, number one. I know you guys probably like, oh Snake, what's, what's after this? Ain't nothing after this. What the what hell, Mazaku? Mazaku does his research. Number one, we have the 12 Tomo Rene Sharingan, the original and the completed version. Now, as you guys seen Naruto and Sasuke... Uh, for, hear me out. Naruto and Sasuke versus Kaguya battle. Uh, a lot of people are under the assumption that they fought Kaguya at her strongest. Uh, and that is blatantly incorrect. It will be impossible to fight her at her strongest if Naruto was still alive with half of Kurama's chakra embedded into him. And all the other tail beast chakra that he still kind of had, including some of the one tails and etc. That Kaguya was missing. So in the central Kaguya was in her retarded form. When she went into tell beast mode, if you guys want to put it, you know, blatantly or disrespectfully as well. And I guess to a thousand years prior, Kaguya, after she ate the fruit, you know, and then you know, the tree was pissed off about the chakra. And Hagoromo, but she had to fight Hagoromo, Hamura. Her and that tree form, that, you know, the picture you're looking at now, this is Kaguya's true form. This is Kaguya as the Jinjuriki, and she transformed to the tree. She transformed into the tree and it transformed into the ten tails. This is the only time in Naruto history, hopefully, you know, it's the last time, that all of the tailed beasts are combined. Every single drop of chakra are combined into Kaguya and the God Tree. When the God Tree is then completed, and as you guys seen her, you know, fighting uh, Hagoromo and uh, Hamura and Susano, this, you know, 
Ten tells to actually move around like a natural human being as he stand up no completely straight. Hence, in his prior forms during the Four Great Shinobi War, was more hunched over and really couldn't do much and could hardly see and still was missing like 10,000% of his shots. So, this is the only time that the Jubilee is actually complete, but 12 Tomo, which is crazy, but this is the only time that it is 100%. When it has Kaguya and it has all the other tail bees. It's the only time that happens and it's when she's fighting uh her two sons. And that's where you have it. And then the manga, mind you, this is manga only we're talking about here. And this is the only panel we get of that actual fight. Anything else is just anime. Anything else they translate to anime. I believe when they translated this panel to anime, this um make excuse me, the uh, Rene Shiron Gun only had like three or four Tomo's in it, like period. It's like, dude, the anime keeps messing up, but that's what you know, Perry Studio does. But in the manga scan, the the hard raw manga scan, it is twelve Tomo, twelve Tomo, and it's the real complete Rene Sharingan with every drop of chakra, not one missed, not one miss, and this is the complete, the complete, the ultimate dodutsu and Naruto history. My name is Super Mazaku. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to follow me on my social medias, my PSN. I play PlayStation 4, you know, Naruto Storm 4 as well. I'm on Snapchat, uh, both of my Facebooks, Instagram, all that, etc. SoundCloud. Make sure to check me out. Everything's dope. Thank you guys. You guys want to get, you know, more content for me. Make sure to hit me up on those social media accounts as well. And, you know, we can talk some things through. You guys want some ideas you want to display on the channel. And, you know, I'll definitely, you know, Make it, you know, considerable, you know. I, I, I might put on that, I might put on that, might not, I don't know. Depending on y'all did trash or not. But that's my time here, man. Thank you guys for watching this video. Super Mazaku out. Love you guys. Peace.